find a witness and shake them real good and tell them it's just a testimony. It's just a testimony. That's what it's all about. It's just a testimony. God is shaping it to make it out for my good. It's just a testimony. I'm going to just go one more minute. I know where you all want me to go, but I, I want to help somebody right here. It's a testimony. You see, people are going through things and, and they leave church discouraged and, and they leave despondent, but you need to understand that it's just a testimony. And the first four letters of a testimony is a test. And when you go through your test, you have a testimony. And God is going to give you the testimony, but you got to stand through the test. And having done all to stand, you got to stand in the liberty wherewith Christ has made you free. And, and the Bible says that now, now they, then they began to pray. And when, when they began to pray and they began to talk to God for a breakthrough. You see, I'm afraid that too many of us are getting up before we get a breakthrough. We just wait until we get a good feeling, but we don't have a breakthrough. See, because when you have a breakthrough, you can, you, you, you can hold your head up. When you have a breakthrough, you can look up. When you, when you have a breakthrough, it doesn't matter what it sounds like. When, when, you, when you get a breakthrough, when you have a, an assurance that God is going to turn the thing around, when you have an assurance that God is going to make a way out of no way, you can say like, Job, though you slay me. I'm going through, I don't understand, I'm, I'm being slain from sight, but I'm going to trust you. And all the days of my appointed time, I'm going to wait until my change comes because a change is coming. I can feel it in the air, a change is coming. I can sense it in my spirit, a change is coming. God is getting ready to turn this thing around, a change is coming. The devil doesn't like it, but a change. And, and, and I got to go the way the Lord's leading me. <laughs> change is coming. I, I've been crying, but a change is coming. I've been going through, a change is coming. <laughs> I, I didn't know how I was going to come out, but the Lord says a change. <laughs> a, a, a change is getting ready to happen, and a, a, a change is happening in my spirit. And, God is getting ready to work it out but before God works it out he's going to work out some things in me <laughs> because he's going to take me to a higher height <laughs> and a deeper depth you see when I come out of this thing I'm going to be at a higher dimension and you see what used to bother me yesterday will not bother me today because there's been a change You want to sit down? Let me talk for another minute here. But when you sit down, just shake somebody and tell them a change is coming. Can't you feel the wind blowing? A change is coming. I don't know how God's going to do it. I don't know when God's going to do it, but I feel a shift. Uh, my prayer's getting lighter my praise is getting better there's a shift because I've got to develop a ministry you want to please sit down let me talk to you one more minute I feel the Holy Ghost telling me to tell somebody just switch Just shake somebody next to you and tell them, switch. You've been holding on to it, but switch. You've been carrying your burden, but switch. You've been discouraged, but switch. You've been despondent, but switch. Give me another minute. Please sit down. <laughs> Please sit down. Please sit down. You see, you've got to sense it. 
before it can happen you've got to know that it, you know that you know that you know you see nobody else will see it but you've got to sense it in your spirit now faith is the substance of things Just give me about four more minutes. Daniel, hallelujah to God. He gets Shadrach. He gets Meshach. And he gets Abednego. Mm -hmm. They go in a huddle. It's never been like this before. Uh, it's, we've never seen it this dark before. Uh, there's a decree out on our life. Uh, but if we have a little talk with Jesus, tell him all about our trouble. He will hear our faintest cry and he will answer by and by when you feel the prayer will turn it. Hallelujah. Your please sit down. Give me just another minute here. They had a huddle. Stay there, Shadrach. Meshach. And that bad Negro. Please sit down. So the king sitting on his throne. How many of y'all know that sometimes God We'll wait until it seems too late before he starts moving and manifesting his will. It is not that he has not spoken it. It is just that we have not seen it manifest. And that's why we don't have to wait until the battle is over. Because if the mouth of God has spoken it, it shall come to pass. So there was an anointing. I'm not at two and a half hours, am I? So there was an anointing over Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Can you minister to somebody near you and tell them there's an anointing that's on your life and the devil wants to steal it? But he cannot have it. He wants to sift you as wheat. Tell him, but Jesus said, I prayed for you that your faith fail you not. Jesus have already turned it around. Jesus have already given you the victory. Stay there, Shadrach. Stay there, Meshach. You want to sit down one more minute? So they prayed. And they prayed. And they prayed, and they prayed. I just heard the Holy Ghost say, one can chase a thousand, two can put 10,000 to flight. I just wonder if you can grab somebody's hand and just pray for them, just pray for them, just pray for them. They prayed, pray for them. Pray, pray, pray for their strength. Pray for their healing. Pray. 
pray for their deliverance. Pray. Pray for them. Pray for them. Pray that the blood cover, the blood heal, the blood deliver, the blood set free, the blood anoint, the blood empower. called by my name would humble themselves and pray seek my face and turn turn from their wicked ways turn from their lying turn from their backbiting turn from their wicked ways then will I hear from heaven I'll heal the land Daniel, Daniel prays, everyone standing, Daniel prays, he prays, he, he prays, he, he prays, and then the Bible says, over in the night, God gives him a vision. Sometimes God waits until your night before he reveals himself. But he is a revealer. Sometimes it's your night. Some, Sometimes you're ready to throw in the towel. You, it's your night. It's it's your storm, it's, it's your season of suffering. And, but in your night, I know that I know, I know that David said in Psalm 35 that weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. But the Lord spoke to me and told me to go back and read that scripture again. And I went back and read it again. It said, Weeping may. It didn't say it had to. It may take back your night. Just snatch it and take it back and just shout, I got it back, hallelujah. God spoke to him in his night speak to me Lord I'm clouded by the things I can't see I, speak to me Lord <laughs> 